This is, you got it, the Hypergo H16BM. All right. So here we have is the 116th vehicle, MJX Hypergo. And it comes with two bodies, as you can see. They put them together like so. And you're going to build one. Inside here, there's reinforcements, as you can see, and the wing on the back. They give you instructions how to go about it. And here's the paperwork. Over here is a parts list, and this is everything that you need, the wing, the washers, and the plates, and all the skid plates. We have an instruction guide that you can go over, and it's in pretty good detail, as you can see. So if you need to order or replace or find a part online, you may do so through the manual. So let's take everything, put it to the side, and what we do want to show you is the size of the unit. It measures 12 inches, inches in length. It measures about 5 inches in height. And it measures across 9.5. If we take a look at other vehicles on the side, for example, let's grab this vehicle right here. It's known as a 1 tenth scale. And you can see the difference in the sizes. Let's take this one step further and show you a 1 8 scale. I show you the big size of the vehicle. This is what you would want to do off roading. These are great for parking lot fun. You could go to a skate park, you could carry it around. It's very portable, fits in the backpack, not a problem. It comes with the spare 2S 7.4 1,500 milliamp battery. You get the charging cable. It's 5 volts, 2 amp output. It charges at 7.4 volts, 1.5 amps for one hour. One hour of charge. Charge the next one. 20 minutes per battery of runtime. The spare battery. We have a Whaley bar. You have the screws that go on, four. It goes on to the back of the vehicle. If you're running 3S and you're 100%, you're going to be wanting this wheelie bar. You want to do throttle control. We have here's additional screws and nuts, wheels, and then springs and small springs. The springs are identical on here. They're replacement springs. Replacement springs, four the turn knuckle as well in the servo. There's a small spring in there. We also have dog bones, front and rear. They're all identical. And you don't have any nuts. Those nuts will fit on here. And that's what they're there for. Very easy to replace. Step-by-step -step instructions going through the book, removing all the parts. They're called dog bones. And of course we have a T-wrench and plenty of clips. These clips can easily get lost. Put a leash on it, put a little glue on the body, and when you pull them off, they stay on there. You have a precision screwdriver. On the vehicle, you can get replacement screws found online to replace all the screws for this, a kit. So here we are with the controller. The controller is for small hands. I have a large hand, and I could fit in here and turn it single-handedly. You have 100%, 70% on and off, and the light to turn on and off. So what we are going to do is set the vehicle up, show you how the lights turn on. And on any of these vehicles, it is always good to turn on your transmitter first and then, then your controller. This does not come with any batteries. It requires two AA batteries. Remove the screw. Open up the cover, which stays on, doesn't come off, and place in disposables, lithiums, or rechargeables. And close up the cover and place the screw back on. On the controller, we have a off 75, an off 70, and 100%. The light will blink. So what we are going to do is open up the battery door, pull forward, lift up. Take the cable, Dean's plug, match up like for like, plug in correctly, place back on, and lock down. 
On the side of the unit is an on and off switch. Hold the vehicle up. It blinks with solid on the receiver and the ESC. I'm going to pull my trigger. And you can see how we have go. I'm going to stare left and right. It is a very responsive steering. And I am going to press the third channel so the lights shine on. We're going to go for a run on the carpet and see how it goes slow motion. We're going to go as slow as we can, see if there's any cogging. We are staring towards the right, needs to be adjusted. In reverse, it is one speed reverse. Forward full throttle, brake. When all done racing, simply lift the cover and shut off the unit by a long press and shut your transmitter off over here. The fun you're going to have, skate parks, outdoor, tall grass, short grass, artificial turf, wherever you take your vehicle, parking lots, you're going to have loads of fun on 2S. Remember, speed scale is the size. This thing will go 45 miles per hour on a 3S battery. That is super fast for a 1 16th scale. If you're looking for different bodies, different types of cars, different scales of cars, and you're a beginner in RC, kids of all ages, you're going to have loads of fun with this bad boy. This is the MJX Hyperglow H16BM. Check them out and have fun using it. Enjoy your hobby if this is right for you.